So a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a tutorial about the F2FS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Well, what is F2FS you may ask like in the first place? Why do you need F2FS in your daily life? Well, the F2FS is just a file like uh, a storage partition kind of type. The format of a storage which makes your storage a lot faster than the normal like the FAT32 one I guess. So it is almost like two times faster than the normal one which you will find on the Redmi Note 5 Pro by default. So what happens in the first place if you flash a F2FS ROM on a normal partition this is what happens. It just like stuck in the boot animation and it doesn't go any further. So here as you can see I have flashed the latest Oxygen OS port by Guzram on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and these days a lot of ROMs are coming for the Redmi Note 5 Pro with F2FS like storage partition capabilities so we need a modified TWRP recovery. So I'm gonna just like put it on the storage and come back. Okay so as you can see this is the official TWRP recovery I'm on right now and I'll use the latest like modified TWRP recovery. For that we have to go into install then install image and this is the one it says TWRP F2FS fix so the official TWRP does have the option to like switch the storage to F2FS but it's not quite recommended as of now so we will use this one and this is the as you can see fix to 323 version the modified version actually so first of all all we have to do is go to wipe then advanced wipe then just wipe normal things like vendor system cache dalvik data and we'll just swipe to wipe so now let's go home go to install then select install image then install this image file as recovery the TWRP like F2FS version which I have downloaded and the link for that will be in the description box below so the flashing is done let's go back let's reboot to recovery now Now first of all to like modify the storage we have to go to wipe then advanced wipe then we need to modify the cache and data partition of the like from here to F2FS. So for that select cache then click on repair or change file system then as you can see the stock file system is ext4 as you can see it from here it is ext4 by default now we'll tap on change file system. Now from here we will select F2FS, then swipe, it's done, go home, go to wipe, then advanced wipe again, data, change file system and then F2FS again, then just swipe to wipe and it's done. Now right now I will install, so as you can see if I tap on install now it just shows blank of the like the internal storage and it shows as the like internal storage memory over here so it's totally like there is nothing kind of so it's it shows that it's empty so i think we have to format the storage once for this let's click on format tap yes it says failed so right now we have to mount the partitions so from here let's select mount vendor system firmware and cast other things so let's now reboot the recovery so it shows like this just click on never show this like screen swipe to allow let me reduce the brightness again go to install and as you can see the storage is still like uh, not really accessible so we have to format now wipe format data yes and we have to like mount the things again i guess now let me put the rom files and stuff in the storage and come back so i'm back after copying all the files of the roms over here on my redmi note 5 pro so i don't need to wipe anything right now but i'm showing you the storage like the data partition and the cache partition if i go over here as you can see right now the file system shows as f2fs earlier it was showing as the ext4 so right now we have changed the data partition and the cache partition as well to f2fs you have to like you have nothing to change about the f2fs anymore the two things are the cache and the data partition 
all right so it looks like the oxygen os itself has some problems in the port so it did not simply boot up so the booting animation or like if it's stuck in the boot animation you don't need to worry and it might be a problem of the rom too so just don't rely on this theory that if it's like not booting up it's f2fs problem or something like that so just be aware of that so the oxygen os ports like from past couple of days it's having some huge bugs or something it's simply not like usable for me at least and it's not even booting up so it's totally not worth to flash and download the rom so right now i'll just flash the latest siberia fan edition by rashid so because that rom is like having the f2fs capability so let me just flash it i wiped the cache dalvik system and data from here and as you can see from the stats over here the 21st january 2019 build let me just select this rom and i'll select the g apps micro g apps and i'll just flash it so i might be reviewing this rom too in the coming days so do wait for it and the siberia os as you guys know this is the fan edition and i'm really a fan of it So as you can see the Siberia OS has booted up and it did work fine with F2FS so you don't need to worry at all regarding the F2FS not working afterwards but I think you might have some problems like to flash the ROMs without F2FS like if you want to flash MIUI that might be a little bit problematic but I don't know how that will go but if you want to switch to F2FS this is how you should do it so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you and share this video with your friends if you want them to know about f2fs on like redmi note 5 pro or any other android device so that is pretty much it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet thumbs if you liked this video dislike if it did not help you much so that is pretty much it this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now